Hey guys, welcome to Living the Logic. This is Manish Narayan. Uh, today we're going to talk about retrieval of data from various data sources uh, from within Excel. So let's get started. First step is to go to data on the Excel tab. And if you drop down the get data icon here, you're going to have various data sources. You can grab data from a file, text CSV, XML, JSON file, PDF, and so on. Uh, of course, you can grab data from another Excel workbook as well. So today what I'm going to walk you through is how to get data from the web. So basically, you can get data from various websites or APIs uh, where you can kind of stack and store everything within Excel so you don't have to keep refreshing or revisiting the website. So let me show you how to do that. So what we're going to do is click on uh, Get Data from Web. So you'll see that icon here. And I'm going to head over to um, finance.yahoo.com, markets, crypto. Let's just say we want to get all the top crypto uh, charts here or grid. So I'm going to head back over to Excel. And here you're going to see a little pop-up window is going to ask you to enter the URL. So I'm going to paste that URL in, click on OK. Take a few moments here. It's going to connect to finance.yahoo.com slash market slash crypto. All right, and it's establishing a connection. So what basically happens is um, it makes a call to the website and kind of parses or extracts all the different HTML tables that are stored on that website. And what we're going to do is pick our table and bring it into uh, Excel. Okay, so you'll notice here uh, the navigator opens up. Um, I see one HTML table, so I'm going to click on that. And you'll see it has all the stock symbols, the names, the price, all the different columns that you saw on the on basically on the website that was open. So I'm going to click on load here, all right? And in a second here, uh, it's going to process the queries and then load the data into a table uh, within the Excel worksheet. Okay, this is notice it created a new uh, worksheet here. It's called Table One. It's getting the data, and on the right side, you'll see queries and connections that are open. All right, so it's loading table one. Give it a moment, it's going to load, and after once it loads, then it starts to get faster uh, as you refresh the data. Uh, and I'm going to show you how you can kind of automatically refresh the data every, say, minute, um, or when you open the workbook. Okay, so it's still loading the data. Let's just wait for that. Uh, still getting it. It's going to basically get all the uh, crypto stock information here and load into Excel. So this way I don't have to revisit the website every time and hit refresh. I can just do it from within Excel. All right, here we go. So um, notice we got a nice dynamic table here, a filtered table. Uh, this data is, again, exact data from the website. All right, now once the data is here, you can right-click your Table one, click on properties, and notice I can refresh the data every one hour, or in this case, I'm going to say every minute. Okay, and you can also choose refresh the data when opening the file, um, and then click on OK. All right, perfect. You can close the queries and connections here. So now we have data that's going to refresh straight from the website. Now, if you want to manually refresh it, uh, notice I can click anywhere within the table. Uh, click on the query and click on refresh. So what's going to happen is uh, it's going to refresh the data from the website again. All right. So I can click on refresh again. All right. It's already running in the background. So give it a moment and it'll refresh your data. So this is how you get data from the web from any website or API. Okay. Now, another way to get data, you might want to talk to your local SQL server. Okay. So uh, let me show you here. Let me bring over my SQL. So notice I have my local SQL server. Uh, I'm going to go to grab my connection string. Uh, now in Excel, I can click on data again. Uh, from, get data from database from SQL server. Okay, now watch this. Uh, what's nice is um, I can just paste in the server name and click on OK. All right. And you'll see in a moment, it's going to pull up all the databases I have in my 
SQL, local SQL Server. So I have a university DB, right? I have a students table. So basically, I'm going to click on load again, just like we did for the web data. And it's going to load my SQL data on a new sheet called students. So notice the last name of Jane Smith is spelled wrong. I'm going to run a quick query to update Jane Smith uh, and correct her last name. So notice I can run this update statement. Okay. Uh, I'm going to choose the university DB and run that again. There we go. Now if I go back to Excel, I can right click and uh, refresh the data. Okay. And in a second here, we're going to see, notice the name got fixed. So it, it synced the data from the database onto Excel, which is nice. So again, you can have a you know nice dashboard, a real world dashboard that has various data sources. Again, you can choose data from the web, uh, from a CSV file, from you know um, different sources on Azure, on Power, you know Power Platform. Um, you have various sources here. ODBC, you can connect to like Oracle, things like that. So again, uh, this is a quick video on how to get data from the web um, and bring it all into Excel. Thanks for watching. Hope you had fun. Hey guys, if you found the video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. See you next time.